Hello all. So we'll be discussing uh, the difference between absorption costing and marginal costing in this video. Fairly important concept for you guys to understand because uh, marginal costing is nothing but decision making and absorption costing is nothing but the total product costing. So how are these two different? Uh, frankly, absorption costing was an independent chapter at the inter CA level and marginal costing also was a chapter there. So you guys must have learned what absorption costing is and what marginal costing is but this video will simply have a quick um, uh, revision or a quick refresher for you guys to understand the difference between the two. So let's get started. Uh, first I have prepared absorption uh, costing ka cost sheet. So you have uh, direct material consumed to start from. Important point is to understand that it is direct material consumed and not purchased because out of purchased if we are consuming 80% or 90% it is these 80% or 90% which is my cost in the books of accounts to find the profits. So we have opening plus purchase less closing stock of the raw material. Similarly direct labor will come in, uh, in prime cost because DM and DL are direct cost being prime cost elements. DM plus DL is my prime cost basic my uh, format of cost sheet. Then you add factory overheads. Important point to note is in absorption costing we have variable plus fixed content as the factory cost. Obviously fixed content is not going to be incurred per unit. So the fixed content will always be absorbed in the cost sheet. These overheads are not budgeted. These overheads are not actual. These are my uh, uh, absorbed overheads. After we have after we have the actuals we would compare the absorbed with the actuals and then either treat them at uh, 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 this stage or the costing PL stage that is nothing but treatment of under or over absorbed overheads. We are not going there so for the time being you have to understand that these FOH are always the absorbed overheads variable is never absorbed it's always incurred. So after I add my factory cost. I mean my factory cost I get my uh, I mean uh, after I add my factory overheads I get my factory cost. Now uh, frankly this is the gross factory cost. I also have the opening WIP. I subtract the closing WIP and I then get the factory cost. But for ease of understanding let's assume that there is no work in progress. So gross factory cost itself becomes the normal factory cost. To factory cost I add my admin costs. Now generally generally admin costs are always fixed in nature because admin costs will rarely be uh, uh, completely variable depending on the output. The admin costs are office costs and office costs are generally indirect costs. So admin costs are generally fixed costs but in case the question specifically mentions that you do have variable cost of admin in nature we will add variable plus fixed in the admin cost as well to get the cost of production. Now this is where costing is different from financial records. In financial records admin cost goes to PNL which means admin cost is not used to value closing stock. It is not taken as a cost in my stock valuation. Note that cost will come in both the books but in costing records admin is a cost to be included in the stock valuation because it is the cost of production at which the closing stock is valued and the cost of production includes admin cost in costing records. Once we get COP I have to adjust my OS and CS of finished goods. Note that these OS and CS were of raw materials. This OS and CS is of finished goods. Now opening stock of FG. Frankly opening stock of FG is nothing but last time's closing stock. So since we don't have last time's cost details either we value the opening stock of finished goods at last time's standard cost or last time's actual cost if given. Now coming to CS of finished goods again we normally assume FIFO which means my closing stock is made up of current goods which means the closing stock should be valued at current COP being cost of production. So if this is the cost of producing X number of goods what is the cost of the Y number of goods in the closing stock? Simple cross multiplication. So closing stock is always valued at cost of production. So once we get my COGS the only cost less um, uh, uh, left is my selling cost. Once I add my selling cost being variable plus fixed I get my cost of sales and this cost of sales is nothing but the total cost. I mentioned TC it means total cost. 
this is the basic format of cost sheet which you guys must have obviously done at the inter ca stage now this was the absorption costing format now how is marginal costing different from absorption costing so in marginal costing in marginal costing we have the same format we have the same format just that in marginal costing i do not use fixed cost to value closing stock note that i am not ignoring fixed cost fixed cost is going to be a cost in marginal costing as well all i am saying is don't use these fixed costs to value closing stock which means i don't need i don't need any fixed content till the cop stage why cop because it is cop at which my closing stock is going to be valued and since i don't want finish your uh, fixed cost to be a part of closing stock i will not want fixed cost to be a part of cop let's start you have dmc as usual direct material consumed you have dl as usual both these being direct costs and both these being variable costs these will come in the prime cost dm and dl are never fixed costs then coming to foh as i mentioned foh i will only add the variable content note that in the absorption cost sheet i use the variable as well as the fixed content in marginal costing i am only adding the variable content so that i get my factory cost which means till factory cost stage i only have dm dl and variable overheads which means i do not have i do not have any fixed content in the uh, factory cost as per marginal costing moving on admin cost as i mentioned admin costs are generally fixed cost but in case there are any variable admin cost i will add only the variable content here which means if i do not have any variable admin costs i will not add any content here because my job is to only and only add variable cost here if the question is silent and it mentions admin cost we'll always assume them to be fixed cost which means no portion of the fixed admin costs will come at this stage so if you add everything i will get the cop and since i have only added the variable cost this uh, cop is only the variable cost of production and this is the major difference between absorption costing and marginal costing marginal costing will only and only include variable content of all costs up to cop not the fixed cost note that the fixed content are not going to be ignored they will come but they will come later just that they will not be used to value my closing stock once i get cop i add my opening stock of finished goods again the same thing i will either use last times given cost or i will use last times standard cost note that i am uh, uh, going to use last times variable standard cost and not fixed cost because i'll be doing the marginal costing so if i'm doing marginal costing concept now i will obviously or i must have done marginal costing concept last year as well which means either take last times variable standard cost or take last times given opening stock cost coming to closing stock again the same thing conceptually closing stock will always be valued at the cop so i will use the cop for valuing my closing stock and it is this value which is going to be different compared to this value because i had used cop to value closing stock here but the cop includes fixed uh, 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 foh and fixed admin cost as well conceptually i am also using the same cop to value closing stock but in this cop you don't have any fixed content you only have the variable content now once i value my closing stock then whatever costs i mean oh, okay once i get my uh, uh, value of closing stock i'll get my cost of goods sold as usual once i get my cogs i will now add up i will now add up all those costs which i have not added in the marginal costing concept now what costs i have not added in this concept i have not added the fixed foh and i have not added the fixed admin if any so whatever is the fixed foh which i have not added i will add back now whatever is the admin fixed content which i have not added here because here i have only added the variable content so whatever was the fixed content i'll add back now 
So whatever cost I have not added, I will add back at this stage. After this stage, we only add the SND content. Now we'll add the variable as well as the fixed content and to get my to get my uh, cost of sales. So this is the format that we are going to use for marginal cost based approach of cost sheet and this is the format which we are going to use under absorption costing so major difference is the stock valuation the fact that here we have a fixed cost included to value closing stock and here we do not have a fixed cost to take my closing stock valuation now what is happening very important to understand what is happening in the background understand one thing that if fixed cost is a cost here it means fixed cost is in factory cost if fixed cost is an admin it means fixed cost is also part of closing stock and let's assume let's assume that there is no opening stock if there is no opening stock this value will not come because there's no opening stock now suppose suppose you have 10 percent of the goods produced as closing stock which means i'm going to subtract 10 percent of COP be, uh, uh, because if this is the cost of 100% what is the cost of 10% being closing stock so this is supposed to be 100% uh, being COP if 10% was closing stock I am going to subtract 10% this 10% will be used from COP only which means I am subtracting I am subtracting a part of cost as fixed cost as well because COP into 10 percent is closing stock and cop includes fixed foh and fixed admin cost as well which means i'm subtracting some part of fixed cost from the current cost and transferring it to next year which means a part of fixed costs a part of fixed cost of foh and admin have have been uh, removed from this year and transferred to next year through closing stock this is exactly what is not happening at the marginal costing method because because in this method you only have the variable cost at cop which means i'm only subtracting a part of variable cost through closing stock all the fixed cost all the fixed cost are taken as a cost after the stock valuation stage which means total fixed costs are subtracted from this year no element of fixed cost is traveling to the next year through closing stock however a part of fixed cost were transferred to the next year through closing stock in the absorption costing method so this is how marginal costing is different from absorption costing and that is the precise reason why fixed cost are called period costs in marginal costing that is because the entire fixed cost are charged to the period in which they are incurred which means part of fixed cost transferred to next year in absorption costing no part of fixed cost is transferred to next year through marginal costing that is why this format means the fixed costs are period cost and if fixed costs are a period cost this entire format is simply translated into this format you take the sales you take the variable cost of sales only which means if you produced 100 goods and you sold 90 of them sales will obviously be sales of 90 variable cost will not come of 100 variable cost will only come of 90 because i want the variable cost of goods sold to get the contribution and the fixed cost all fixed cost being the fixed cost of factory nature fixed cost of admin nature fixed cost of snd nature all fixed costs will be combined to have fixed cost here which means no element of fixed cost is transferred to the next year through closing stock because of this this entire format translates into this format and th that is the main reason why we don't use this format in any of the marginal costing sums we always we always have sales less vc to get contribution and less all fixed cost which means no portion of fixed cost is gone to the next year all the fixed costs are charged in the same period to which the fixed cost pertain so this is how absorption costing is different from marginal costing thank you